On July 5, 2025, an amateur astronomer caused worldwide excitement with a short video. Had the man actually filmed an impact on Saturn? Within a few hours, thousands of amateur researchers and professionals worldwide were discussing the spectacular footage. A confirmed impact on the ringed planet would have been a scientific sensation, but it quickly became apparent that the truth was quite different and perhaps even more mysterious and beautiful than the initial impact. When Mario Rana pointed his telescope at Saturn in the early morning of July 5, 2025, he didn't expect anything unusual at first. The sky above Virginia was clear, and the amateur astronomer was looking forward to taking some great pictures of his favorite planet. But what Rana then saw on his screen suddenly changed everything. A short, bright flash appeared on the surface of the gas giant. For a fraction of a second, a sensation was visible, but the experienced amateur astronomer knew that observation alone was not enough. An impact documented in real time would have been a sensation. Never before had such a moment been visible on Saturn with such clarity. But science is a tough field, and until an event like this is confirmed multiple times, it is not officially true. Mario Rana did not hesitate and immediately shared his unusual observation with his global community. The big question was, could this have been something big? An impact? A meteoroid burning up in the atmosphere? Within hours, the news spread across forums, social networks, and specialist platforms. And the Planetary Virtual Observatory and Laboratory Association called for worldwide confirmation. Other observers were asked to share their raw data. The scene was electrified, and a cosmic mystery embarked on a strange journey. The captured flash on Saturn remained a single event. No second recording, no independent evidence could confirm the observation. When this is the case, astronomers use analysis software, such as DETECT, to rule out image errors and manipulation. The test, tension between hope and evidence. The tension was not only overwhelming for Mario Rana. For the amateur astronomer, there was a lot at stake and the global community was in an uproar. When events like this are reported by amateur researchers, the whole scene is in turmoil. The first few hours after the reported flash on Saturn were an astronomical wildfire. At least as many people are scientifically active in global forums and social networks as in official research institutions, and the community reacted quickly. Amateur astronomers worldwide compared timestamps, camera angles, and image processing techniques, but hope soon faded. No other observer was able to document the same flash at the same time. Planetary videos are often processed with sharpness filters and contrast enhancement to make fine structures visible. This can create artifacts that look like bright spots or even impacts. In reality, however, the effects can also be algorithmic byproducts of the filter structures. This is where the DETECT software came into play. This automated system specializes in analyzing planetary videos and can break down the signals from short-lived flashes of light into the smallest detail. Since 2010, DETECT has identified dozens of impacts on Jupiter as genuine, and many of them were later confirmed by professional telescopes. In the case of previously reported impacts on Saturn, however, the yield was meager. And this time, too, the system found no further evidence of a real impact. So what did Mario Reyna really observe in the vicinity of Saturn? Statistically speaking, Saturn is only hit by an object with a diameter of at least one kilometer about every 3,125 years. Smaller impacts are more frequent but their traces often disappear within seconds in the planet's dense atmosphere. Nevertheless, a light like this does not simply appear on an observation video or photo. A comparison, Jupiter, the cosmic lightning rod. You all know Jupiter as the largest gas planet in the solar system, but less as a cosmic lightning rod. Yet the liveliness of this planet is far more characterized by its lightning rod properties than by its sheer size. Impacts on Jupiter are practically a daily occurrence, and for decades, astronomers have regularly observed short, bright flashes of light. These are a sign that small celestial bodies such as meteorites are entering the dense atmosphere at high speed and burning up. 
It was a huge sensation when, in 1994, the comet Shoemaker-Levy 9 was first crushed into several fragments by Jupiter's magnetic field, and the pieces then crashed into Jupiter. The impacts were not only visible, but also left dark scars in the atmosphere, which offered exciting observation opportunities for weeks. This was the first time that an impact on another planet had been documented live, and the event was a milestone for planetology. Since then, numerous smaller impacts have been recorded, many of them by amateur astronomers such as Mario Rana. But the community had to wait a long time for a major event. It was not until 2010 that two amateur astronomers again observed a two-second flash of light on Jupiter. The two made this observation independently of each other, and the recordings were later analyzed by professional teams. Thanks to in-depth analysis of the data, it was even possible to draw perfect conclusions about the size, speed, and composition of the meteorite. Observations like these are scientific strokes of luck. Cases that are not confirmed often leave many questions unanswered despite the lack of confirmation. Scientists would have preferred Mario Rana's observation to have been genuine or clearly definable. The DETECT software was actually developed to systematically record Jupiter flashes. Since its introduction, it has identified dozens of candidates, a considerable number of which have been confirmed by independent observations. Due to its size and strong gravity, Jupiter is particularly susceptible to impacts. It literally attracts objects and thus provides a kind of protective shield for the inner planets. We on Earth benefit greatly from Jupiter's lightning rod function. The frequency of lightning on Jupiter helps researchers model the population density of small bodies in the outer solar system and better estimate the probability of future impacts on Earth or Mars. In comparison, Saturn remains a virtually blank slate. The planet is more difficult to observe because its atmosphere is less contrasting, and overall, Saturn seems to be a planet shrouded in an almost eerie silence. The Non-Event and Its Incredible Consequences what actually happens when amateur scientists spread false observations online? What began as a success for Mario Rana initially turned into a bitter disappointment. But the mistake wasn't that bad after all. Science is not only what is confirmed, but also what is not confirmed. A large impact confirmed on Saturn would have been a scientific treasure, but analysis showed that the supposed impact on Saturn on July 5, 2025 was probably just a light disturbance. But the recording alone, its lightning-fast dissemination, and in this case, unfortunately, its non-confirmation, caused incredible hype in the scientific community. The case showed how quickly and with what enormous reach a globally well-connected system of amateur scientists works. Professionals also participated in the search, and experts and amateurs have long been working together effectively in this field. Many fantastic observations in space are now made by citizen scientists because it is often the non-professionals who have a better eye, more time, and scientific neutrality. Every observation, whether confirmed or not, contributes to improving networks and methodology. The community's rapid response was fascinating. The data collections of amateur astronomers worldwide were overwhelming, and the professional use of software such as DETECT shows the high level at which amateurs operate. Despite the failure, the entire incident was something of a celebration for the global community of sky observers. What role do the rings play in impacts? Impacts on gas planets are an exciting thing. When a comet or asteroid crashes into the powerful atmosphere of Jupiter or Saturn at breakneck speed, energies are released that are thousand times stronger than any known bomb. Such events can light up brightly and leave bizarre impact craters. In Jupiter's cloud bands, the force of the impact can cause turbulence and leave traces that give researchers rare insights into the reactions and deeper layers of this world. Although there is a reasonable explanation for why such events are much rarer on Saturn than on Jupiter, the second largest gas giant in the system remains a mystery. Saturn is also large, but significantly smaller and structured very differently from Jupiter. It also seems to be far less attractive to asteroids and comets than its neighbor. Of course, researchers are also interested in the fact that Saturn apparently causes fewer impacts. One reason could be the ring system, 
which somehow protects and shields the planet. The rings consist of dust and ice, are incredibly complex, and despite much research, have not yet been fully understood. Some rings show an unusual age, while others are younger. Overall, the rings are shrinking and could eventually disappear altogether. When impacts do occur in Saturn's environment, the events are much shorter and more difficult to document. Saturn's atmosphere absorbs almost all of the energy, making it seem as if the silent giant simply swallows its visitors without a sound. Meteorites that burn up there produce only a brief flash of light. Impacts on planets and moons are certainly among the most exciting events that scientists can observe. The moon is regularly hit, and the moon glow has fascinated not only the scientific community for many years, but also many amateur stargazers who look at the sky almost around the clock with amateur telescopes. What are we actually missing? Although thousands of astronomers around the world observe, document, and seek to understand space, we miss an estimated 80% of the actual events in our cosmic neighborhood. Not only are impacts often difficult to observe, but other important events can also escape our notice. Small celestial bodies near Earth, known as near-Earth objects, are considered extremely difficult to observe. They can pass by unnoticed in large numbers or even collide with Earth without us detecting them in time. Their small size and high speed make them difficult to detect even with the best telescopes. Processes that we never see directly could also be taking place on the dark side of the moon. We never see micro-impacts, seismic activity, or even hypothetical objects directly. And only when an orbiter is currently circling there, in the depths of the Kuiper Belt and the Oort Cloud, there could theoretically be hundreds of thousands of ancient, bizarre, or even large objects that we cannot yet see because they are small on a cosmic scale and reflect virtually no light in the darkness far from the sun, thus remaining invisible to our telescopes. Or imagine how alien technologies, UFOs, or even extraterrestrial space probes remain invisible to us because they are too small, too exotic, or too well camouflaged. Subscribe now for a steady stream of new and exciting videos.